you must be delighted to get two international matches one one week after the other. You'll take a lot of confidence um, from the uh, the performance last week against Japan and scoring the try as well. Yeah, it's obviously any time it's great to get picked for your country, but uh, you had to get two in a row. It's the first for me, so um, normally it's one week on, take like a year off. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'll be good to get two games in a row and hopefully put another good performance in. What has Andy said to you, indeed the rest of the coaching staff said to you in terms of you know this particular camp as a kind of a, a starting point for next season, if you understand, given the, the fact that this is a, a good opportunity to test yourself uh, at the top level? Um, I don't know if he's mentioned next season really a lot. I think he's been concentrating on, well, we've been concentrating on these games as they come. I know Japan were a big test and um, for the centres really, it's just been that connection and being the second set of eyes for the 10, um, trying, to, trying to show, like, see a better picture of the field and try to get to those wide edges a bit more. If, if that's the sort of answer you're looking for, that's what it's been for me. So, I just wonder, you, um, you obviously have played a lot of rugby with James now. Um, and Chris Farrell, you played with him last weekend. How different do you? How much do you have to tinker with your game depending on who you're in the centres with, and how enjoyable and different are those two experiences of those two guys? Say, um, they're obviously slightly different players. Uh, I don't think I'll be changing the way I play at all, really. Um, maybe at the start when James had one or two caps for Ulster, I probably tried to help him along a bit, but he's, I don't know, he's played 40, 40 odd games for Ulster now. He sort of knows what the professional game is. He's, he leads a lot of the meetings and stuff. He's quite a vocal guy and, um, I really won't be doing a lot different than I did last week. Stuart, you sort of touched on it there at the start, but could you just elaborate a wee bit on the challenges of coming into your side and then being out for a year, being out for two years, like just how difficult is it to slot back in? Uh, it, it's obviously difficult. You'd, you'd love to be getting more consistent rugby, but um, the guys who've been there ahead of me have been doing brilliantly. Like you see, like Sabundi and uh, Robbie looking like they probably could start in the centre for the Lions. So it's not as if uh, <laughs> the competition hasn't been good, but uh, yeah, it's been difficult slotting in and out. I think the the level of training here when you're in the team that isn't playing helps the slot back in as well. So that's sort of helped along the way, but obviously I would like to play a bit more. And um, just USA, obviously in defeat, but impressed a few people, especially with their second half performance um, against England there at the weekend. What are you expecting from them? Yeah, they've obviously got a lot of great athletes. Um, I know defensively they'll they'll come pretty hard off, off the line of us and come to get us. So um, we're expecting that. And what was 40 something 40 something the 13 points in it wasn't there in the end last week so you're getting beat by 13 points by england at home um isn't terrible by any stretch so yeah we're expecting a pretty good game from them and uh, hopefully we can get off to a good start mm-hmm.